Hello, I'm Julia and welcome to my garden. It's Saturday the 20th of July and it's about 2.30ish in the afternoon. It has rained non-stop for two days. Well, all day yesterday and all morning today. It's just stopped. Though it does look like it's about to drop some more on us. So I thought I'd quickly come out and tie in the sweet peas because all that rain, whew, they've fallen over. Not completely, but they're on the way. So I thought while it's dry, I'll come get them tied in. Yesterday, because it was so wet outside, I tied in everything in here. So the green ice is looking pretty neat. I started counting more and more of these Roma tomatoes now. Noticing more and more anyway. Yeah, they're not so, not quite so elusive now. I can actually see them. <laughs> Which is grand. And of course, the raff. I'm looking forward to tasting the raff. I'm told that they're supposed to be really good and if they produce the way they are producing and they taste taste as good as they say they taste then they'll definitely be being grown here again oh, look another little tiny one <laughs> plenty of rafts right let's get outside before it starts raining again get these sweet peas tied up and i've noticed a couple of my tomato plants need a little bit of tying in as well after all that rain <laughs> as you can see Sweet peas. They're a bit down. We've got the string scissors. Let's see what we can do about tying them in a bit. Give this a go. Oh, poor things, I'm going to pick them as well. Get the basket. We'll pick some as well while we're here. Might as well while we're out here and it's not raining for the moment. special about sweet peas, isn't there? That's the length. <laughs> Try to cut them right down at the base. Let the stem can find it. Oh, that's not the one I was going for. Which one you? Tomorrow, when I come back out here, it'll be full again. I'm just going to move around that side and get food from there. Oh. Twisty. <laughs> so much to see the garden. things to show you in a minute that we're going to harvest. I can't believe it's the 20th of July and we're having to wear jumpers. Crazy. Crazy. Right. 
tomato. Can you see that some of the can you see that some of these have um, come on quite a lot since I last tied them in? I'm going to see if I can show you. <gasps> oh, can you see it? Look, it's one of the tondos to something, needs uh, to something, something crochets, a round one. So we're just going to harvest that because it is definitely ready. And get in. Sorry about that, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably a bit bigger than it should be. But ain't that cute? That one's considerably smaller. You have some other courgettes to go and harvest, so let's do those as well while we're at it. I've let these courgettes get bigger than I normally would because I want to make zucchini bread with them. So they are quite a bit bigger than I would normally get them. But that's okay because they're for zucchini loaf. And I've got some more up on the other plant as well. There's about three on there I can harvest. Let's have a look. There's about three on that plant that I can harvest as well. I want to show you something un a bit peculiar, unusual, on the sunflower front and I'm wishing now that I had entered Nick's sunflower channel challenge and gone in for the most unusual sunflower because my sunflower has grown another sunflower in the middle of its flower head. How unusual! This is a really exciting development with the uh, sweet corn. Started to get cobs coming. <laughs> Very interesting to watch these growing. Didn't know that they were going to come like that. These are the swift. And they're great. So exciting. It looks like we're going to have sweet corn. And They've started to put up, what are they called? The tassels? Yeah, I think they're called the tassels, aren't they? They've started to put up the tassels. I don't think I need to do any wiggling around of sweet corn at the moment. The weather's done that for us. <laughs> yeah, well, that's very exciting, isn't it? Some of these sunflowers got a bit battered by the weather. Some taller canes, really. I'll have a look and see what I've got and get to them tomorrow. I think I might take the net 
that I've got covering those butternut squashes off now. What do you think? I shall leave them on just for another week. Oh, because they do see. They are getting away now. I'm quite reluctant to remove it at the moment because of whatever it was that was nipping them out. But it is good to start them seeing, starting to see them vine. Pretty cool. That one's showing itself out anyway. Hmm, I'll just leave it for just a little bit longer. If they see themselves out, they see themselves out. That's grand. <sighs> Everything's going on nice. Yes, indeedy. Hmm. Apart from a bit of battering by the weather, we're doing all right. Looking forward to seeing these sunflowers that are called claret. That one's starting to open. You see. See if I can pull it forward a little. Just starting. Wonderful. Got quite a few flower heads on there as well. Seem to be going to flower all the way down the stems. Marvellous. They should be pretty. It has been one heck of a weekend weather-wise, hasn't it? It was... Oh, the guys from the water board just came and measured the amount of rainfall that there has been next door where they've got their equipment set up and it was 87 millimeters which is just short four inches in one weekend <laughs> i already knew it was a lot because my wheelbarrow was yet again full of water but today's lovely sunny a little bit of white cloud nice warm day probably the best one we're going to get for a few days so i am out here clearing out the broad beans they've come to the end now i'm just grabbing all the last beans off the plants and clearing the plants out uh, leaving the roots in of course but the plants are coming out being chopped up and they're going I'm just throwing them straight onto the area where I'm making a new bed and then I'm going to cardboard over the top of it all compost on top of it and that um, can then sit and wait um, all this lot can wrap down underneath the cardboard, cardboard cardboard will suppress all the weeds from coming through so I should have some nice fertile soil under there when I uh, go to use it all at some point. So I'm just going to carry on and get rid of these beans really. I was going to tell you what date it is but yet again in my own inimitable style I can't remember. I know it's Monday and I know it's right at the end of July. Maybe the 29th? Maybe? I don't know. No, I never know, do I? That's because, well, I just never know. <laughs> oh, flies already. I've done half of this bed already. I'm going to crack on and do the rest of it. You can come along for the fun if you want. <laughs> I'll carry on filming anyway. We'll see what the editing's like. Like I said, I've done half already. Well, virtually. I've got my basket full of the produce, which is getting quite full already and heavy.
fine snail. Those broad beans are mostly going to get blanched and frozen. Some of them will go with tonight's dinner, but mostly blanched and frozen. We've got quite a few set down in the freezer already and we've had quite a few pickings off them already as well. So they're doing their job. These tomatoes are breaking me out. Breaking me out they are. Come on. <laughs> Oh well, some of these tomato types will get grown again. Some of them that are not playing ball won't. Okay, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to finish clearing this. I'm going to weed and I'll come back to you. That's all of the broad beans now removed from this bed. They didn't have much space at all, did they? I got a really good crop out of what, 18 inches across. So they're all out. I'm going to put something low growing in there now so that these beans can reach their full potential. They already are doing the Costa Violette on this side. I've now made it up and over the arch. And the ones on this side, the Costa Violette, are nearly caught up as well. And it won't be long before the cobra and the white lady runner beans have joined them now that they've got some light. They're looking very healthy. They look good. And on this side, this white lady is nearly up at the top. It looks great. We've got baby beans already on here. All you can hear is my feet crunching, isn't it? There we go, little tiny baby beans, tiny baby beans, and there are some just a little bit further on down here, somewhere, there we go. It won't be too long I think before we have French beans to eat, hoorah, as well as lay down in the freezer for the winter. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Won't be long before that one meets up with that one. There's what? Less than a foot in between them. I reckon they'll be, be meeting each other by the end of... Where are we now? Monday? By the end of Wednesday those two beams will be planned touching each other. Nice. So many different sorts of flowers. We've got purple ones. I suppose it's all in the name, isn't it? And the Costa Violetta, which are very pretty. And then, I don't know, I suppose you'd describe it as a nondescript sort of pink colour <laughs> on the cobras. And then, on the white ladies, all in the name. White flowers. Lovely. And I can see tomatoes starting to grow on those plants behind there. We've got a tomato somewhere there. Hopefully there's a few more than just one going to be on the plant. Uh, the barlotto beans are starting to get the patterning on them now. Should we try on the other side? Then when we're not in quite so much shadow. There we go. They're trying to get starting to get some colouring on them. And these beans are the oh yeah blau hulda and they're growing up can you see they're just up here now so they're getting away with it to a good they're getting away now. And the Blue Lake beans here, these are all climbing French beans, are on their way up as well. And now we've got a butterfly. <laughs> Some flowers are looking magnificent. The crazy sunflower is still doing. <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? The sunflower 
inside a sunflower. Pretty amazing. <laughs> the snapdragons are in the base here and they're managing to find their way up through. We've got some yellow crookneck courgettes in here getting on with things as well as the tondor Denise the ones are in there getting on with things wheelbarrow full of water that was actually literally full up this morning I've used it to water some of the plants with in the greenhouse tomatoes out here are developing nicely I think you can see uh, developing nicely there's another one behind it not many, but it's a start. I think we've got more coming and there's some more on this end plant here. A few on there. So, I'm discovering more and more tomatoes out here now, every day. That's good. Some flowers have been so pretty this year. This one's gone over now. Do you remember how beautiful these were? Dip to the heads. That one doesn't seem to have developed much further than it was, but this one's done much better, and I can see the seeds now. Haha, <laughs> nice. Let's go and look at the red sunflowers. Claret, they were called. I think it's a bit of a bad name for them. Look at this one. I'm sorry. Dogs and plant pots and streamers and rubbish. I'm trying to have a sort out today. This sunflower is now oh, well, good seven feet tall not not put out its flower head yet this one has that's only about five feet tall started to flower but these are multi-headed as well and that one's not even got any of the multi-heads on it yet the extra side shoots yet so it's still doing its thing Let's look at these other ones. Radishes in flower. Oh, do you know, radishes have been a nightmare this year. I've probably had about 10 radishes off them. Nightmare. These are pretty. And tall. <laughs> I'm putting off more heads. Here we go. Look at that. That is claret. I was expecting it to be redder. Looking at the packet, it was going to, supposed to be much redder, but they are beautiful. And we're getting lots of these little side shoots, so there's going to be a lot more flowers on it yet. They, they seem to be coming all the way up its stem. Huh. So I think they're going to give quite a nice continuous display. is the golden bantam sweet corn that still has not put out any t uh, whatever you call it tassels at the top no not so anyway that but it is showing signs of starting to thicken at the stem a little bit now in some places maybe <laughs> but these ones the swift are doing really well as you can see we've got silks and tassels We've been a bit beaten about by the rain that we've had this weekend and there's more to come. So fingers crossed it doesn't affect them too much. That's that sunflower is enormous. Surprising, I didn't expect the claret ones to get this big. But they are whopping. Enormous. <laughs> They're acting as quite a good shelter. My butternut squashes look like they are starting to put out some flowers along the stems now, hooray! I thought I wasn't going to get anywhere with them. There's another one through at the back, over there. But some flowers seem to be keeping them nicely hidden from birds, as do the courgettes that are growing at the other side, which are being prolific. They're great. It's all doing very well. Very happy. <laughs> right, 
it's nice to see this little visitor in the greenhouse. He's getting very busy with the tomato flowers. Can't keep up with him, he's too busy. Basil. There he goes, tomato flowers. He's been a very busy little bean here today. And there's another one in here somewhere as well. They've been enjoying these tomato flowers. These are Roma. And at first I was a bit like, disappointed. I thought, are these ever going to make any tomatoes? <laughs> that bee's very close. <laughs> but actually, these tomatoes, I know, there's, there's tomatoes everywhere on them. So I'm really pleased. There we go. Visiting some more. Oh, hello. <laughs> Making his way over to the costal or not? Back to the Romas on this side. <laughs> I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Being a very busy little bee, and that's a grand sight. <laughs> we'll leave it to its work and get ourselves out of here. Those are some very laden little legs. <laughs> there he goes. Thank you very much, bee. Oh, onto the outdoor tomato, isn't it? Wonderful. Oh, well. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for that. It's been a beautiful day. I think it's about four o'clock now. And I've got to go and do Cosmos soon. And I need to go down and buy some bits and pieces. The garden's coming along really well. I'm particularly pleased about those French beans I'm reaching the top. It's like I've got another one that I need to just show the way that it's got to go over and over. That it's got to go over the top. But that's, it's exciting to see that coming together. That was quite... <laughs> I'm hoping you can see. It's exciting to see these arches coming together and the beans starting to grow over the top of them. Just noticed one of my white onions is throwing up escape. Just when you think the going's good, eh? <laughs> it's good to get all those broad beans out. Now I've got this row down here that I can use to plant something. But I want it to be low growing. Because I want these beans to get some light. And I want the tomatoes on the other side of them to get more of the morning light. Which rises over in that direction. And sort of comes around this way. <sighs> so they'll get more light now the broad beans are out. I can still see lots of weeds that I need to pull out, but I have been weeding as I've gone this morning. Um, I am going to sign off now for the day, because I've got to go and do Cosmos, and then come back and make some dinner. And I've got to go and get a few bits. And it's actually quite hot now. So I've been making the most of it, because tomorrow is going to be raining again, and it's got the weather forecast sets. It's going to be raining for a good 10 days. Yay! Not yay. Tomatoes in the greenhouse are doing fabulous. The bees getting in there, doing their job as we've just seen. Hey. Everything's growing like the clappers in that greenhouse. Every time I go in, it seems to have just run from and starting to move some of the cucumbers over this way. Now over the top of the Roma tomatoes so that they can take up some of that space. A bit wild in there though, a bit jungly. But things are doing fine. Tomatoes are being produced, cucumbers are being produced, basil is growing. I'm actually going to take one of the plants of basil inside now because the plant I had indoors has just, I've just used the last of it. Um, what else? The peppers at the back. I didn't show you the mood to you today, but I will do next time. The sweet corbatches are just lovely 
chests from Roots and Refuge grew those last year and they just looked amazing and she said they were fantastic. So I thought I'd give them a go. <laughs> and they'll, trust me, they're worth it. They're, go, they're doing really, really well. And I've got plenty, several cherry bomb peppers growing as well. The Tabascos have not put off any flowers yet, which is a bit peculiar, but maybe it's just not got hot enough for them yet, I don't know. I don't think it's going to get much hotter than it was last week. But anyway, everything in the greenhouse is doing really well. Tried to move out all of that cardboard today from behind there and there's still tons of polystyrene. I know a teenage boy that's going to be coming out here in a bit, gathering all that, breaking it down, shoving it in the bin. Let's get rid of it. My garden is making me very happy. <laughs> it's coming on really well. Anyway, I digress. I was saying goodbye. Thank you for joining me. It's been a pleasure as always. Hope I'll see you next time. Bye for now.